Alrighty, geometry, let's go ahead and do example two together. So what we've got, what we've got shown here is an isosceles trapezoid um, on a coordinate plane. And we've got some abstract points um, or some arbitrary, I, I should say arbitrary, that's a better word, arbitrary points um, for some of the coordinates. So we can see that R and I are both um, at the Y coordinate of B. And we can see that C uh, moved negative A units to the left and H moved ne was is another negative three units, negative three A units uh, to the left. So the question is, let's find the coordinates of R. Well, what's nice is that we know it's level with this I coordinate. So we know that it's going to have uh, a Y coordinate of B. So now we need to figure out um, what this X coordinate is here. Now we know that it's an isosceles trapezoid. So we know that these two legs are congruent. Um, so let's go ahead and just draw a perpendicular line down here. So we know that this point is further away from this point of negative three A, but the question is how far? Well, if we go back and we look at the other leg, which creates a right triangle with the y-axis and the x-axis, we can figure out that distance. So the two triangles that I've drawn, the gray one and the blue one, are um, congruent triangles. And we can show that because they're both right triangles. Both of the hypotenuses are congruent and the legs are congruent. Um, the vertical legs are congruent. So they're congruent by RHL. So now that we've proven that that's congruent, that means the bases of those two triangles are also the same distance. If we can figure out what this distance is right here, I can apply it over here and figure out what this coordinate would be um, for R. Well, I know that this distance right here is A units because the coordinate is at negative A units which means that if I'm trying to find where this point right here is located at, I need to go another negative A unit um, to figure that out. So um, right here, this coordinate is at negative four A, which means then that this X coordinate for R is at negative four A. Thanks for watching. Let's do one more example in the next video.